Hello everybody, Sunday is the infamous Puss in Boots Stakes. We won it uh, once, we got to jump in the lake with Delaforce. This is Speyside, he's on the also eligible list. They're all scared of my champion race horse! Champion race horse! So, he probably won't run. But my selection will be Demo Watch Me. Steve Cathcart, if you know Steve, he's the trainer. He's due to jump in the lake. Candace Warwick is the owner. She always wins races at Fort Erie. This horse's last two grass races were very strong. Finished strong in both races. And in his last race, he seemed to stall and make a few runs. I like Bryce from the hedge as a value play to win the Puss in Boots. Horse to watch out would have to be Dupes. Uh, got a wide post, which, which scares me. Kirk Johnson picks up the mound for Kathy Patton Cassie. One on the turf with a wide run, two starts ago. Last time was herded out late and probably would have won that race as well. So there's my top picks, value plays in this year's renewal of the Puss and Boots. All right, we're back again with Lord of Greatness. Last time a great third with Bob Summers. Very happy with that race, and we're going back to the grass to stretch out for the Puss and Boots. In that race with him, we're just hoping to get a clear trip with him. We had some traffic trouble in almost every start with him. A nice clear trip and ready to go again. Where do you regular expect? Bernie was at, uh, he was there when Pussy Boots, or at least he, he claims he was when, when, when he jumped in the water. But Howie, big field. John. A very competitive field. Yeah, very competitive and uh, I think it'll be a great race, I hope. And like I said, though, I'm I'm going with number 12 myself, but best I, offer. Best offer is Abu. what I'm picking for. You How know? about Kenny? I'm going with Kenny, and uh, if I was doing a try, I would do one five twelve. So you don't bet the tries? Well, I well on occasion. Oh, yeah. okay, there you go. All right, Bernie cried. Bernie, what do you think? You were there well, when Puss and Boots jumped in. I was there when Puss and Boots jumped in, but. Everybody in Buffalo said they were there when Puss and Boots jumped in, yeah. and they weren't. <laughs> but if they all kicked in a dollar, like John mentioned before, yeah. everybody would be yeah. well healed in right. this day and age. These races, number one looks good to me, but uh, don't go by me, John. Just Steve Cathcart. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right, thanks, guys. The first uh, Puss and Boots that I ever won was won by a horse named Dancing for Beans, and we actually started the tradition of jumping in the pond. Um, his owner, Bob Elkins, said that if this horse won, I think he was a bit of a long shot, he would jump in the pond himself. And sure enough, he did. So he lived up to his word and jumped in the pond. And ever since then, every winner, jockey and trainer of the Puss in Boots has to jump in the pond. So that was kind of neat. And um, another horse that I went on was named uh, a Nice Splash. So it was in the stars for him to win should have been a really good hunchback for people. Again now for the Puss and Boots, you got your expert pick coming up here. Seems we did so well on our last cup day there, we went 0 for 3. Uh, I decided to ask uh, Tommy here who the winner will be here for the Puss and Boots and he told me thank you for not putting me in there because it's a little too far and a little too tough for me now. But he comes up with Port Severn. Since he's 2 for 2 here, coming back from Woodbine, probably can't beat him. So. Port Severn's a pick from Tom Joy here. He says, I'm on Yender card. Watch out for me. I'll make up for my cup race loss. Right, buddy? Good to go. Oh, Tommy just whispered in my ear. He forgot he as he took a peek at my overnight here. He's seen the third race in Ontario Sired Allowance Phillies there. He said, Chella won't get beat. He said, she's just a beast from down at Mountaineer now. They can't touch her. As if I was a stud, I'd go for it myself. Two brews to go, fresh out of the Andy Passero Memorial, ready to run back. Third race, Puss and Boots Day. Got Sandy's Hurricane, who was tough in the cup race, and cut back in distance to three quarters, could beat a her advantage, but also you had Chella shipping in from the state. She's got some speed to go with her, and it's an interesting horse race, some nice big mares. Good old allowance field for Puss and Boots Day. So my pick for uh, Puss and Boots Day, um, interesting race, I believe is the third race allowance, Ontario sired, Phillies and mares. 
Uh, I believe Chella will win that race. I like her. I like her. I, I watched her run last time, but I've also watched her all winter. Uh, I just think she's a, uh, a horse in good form. Obviously, she's in good form. I think she's won 11 out of the last 12 or 13. And I think the horses, the local horses, are going to be up against it against her. Um, I think she's much the best in there. And in the Puss in Boots, it's a very, I think it's a very competitive bunch of horses. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go with, I think Dupes will be the one to beat in that race. Um, Dupes is a uh, horse that's got some backlash. I looked up that horse's form when he beat uh, a horse that I ran on the grass. And I went back and looked at last year. I mean, he was running for open 40s and running second and third, getting beat two, three lengths. And if he uh, can repeat them kind of races, I don't believe anybody uh, will be able to, to beat him. Um, I think Port 7, obviously, is going to be the favorite in the race. But Dupes is in good form right now. Port 7's been off. I, I know Danny Bell, obviously, uh, can have a horse ready to run. Um, but I think for, for the price, I think Dupes is probably the one the one to win that race. Whatever. Yeah. Dupes, that's what I think. Hi, this is Mike Blake again. Once again with my old friend, Paul Capice. I'm going to give you your Puss and Boots picks of the day. Um, going to have to do a sentimental pick and go with my buddy, Alpha Peace here. Hopefully he can avenge his fifth place finish last year and uh, take him coast to coast. Um, I think he's going to, uh, my pick is he's going to win by a diminishing neck to Port Severn. And uh, I think you can round out your tries and your supers with uh, some of the closers. Uh, Demo Watch Me, uh, Celtic Conviction, and uh, Creative Thunder, who would be my pick if he hadn't had such a, a busy August and uh, start to a September. He could toss dupes in there as well. So those are my picks. Hopefully uh, the old guy can get it done. And uh, good luck. Hey, thanks for our opinion. This is going to be a great race. This is a betting race. you got a great field. Some, uh, hopefully it, it, it's going to go with the, with all the starters. It'll be a jockey's race, I think. But yeah, we've got some good trainers, good horses. Horn Severn, Danny, Danny Bella. Bring him down. He's got a very good chance. Steve Kath can't count him out. Any of them. Anybody can win this race. Should be one of the better ones. I can't wait to see who jumps in the bottom. Well, I gotta say I wish everybody good luck. Um, I'm kind of a little uh, more lean into my horse. I think Celtic Conviction should be very tough if he runs to the race he ran last year when he was uh, second to Johnny LaRue. And Demo Watch Me, if I look back, he's been running a mile on the grass. The horse that won the halt and only beat him four and a half lanes in the start in Toronto, I think the mile in 16th will do him well. So I think we got a big shot, but I do believe Port Severn is the horse to beat. But I think there's a ton yeah, of is. horses in there that you can bet. Good betting race. So good luck to everybody, and let's see who jumps in the pond. I don't even know who. Tell us. Tell us. Hey. Oh, Puss in Boots. Hey, Mike. Hey, big guy. Peace. I'll see you soon. Can we do it again?